Welcome to Dunleary on the south side of Dublin. It's a beautiful day here, another Saturday. Um, and I'm just going up to stroll around here and have a look at the yachts and the, the harbour here. It's beautiful here. <laughs> So this seems to be the main shopping street here in uh, Dunleary. Big long street here with loads of shops of different kinds. It's nice. People are all out sitting, having uh, coffee or tea, or sitting outside a pub having a drink. Wow, it's very trendy indeed, isn't it? Loads of lovely shops along there on the main street. Loads of, I see a couple of uh, lovely mural, there's a murals on the walls and um, even this, the backdrop here is beautiful. So, there's a shopping centre in just over here. Now there's Bloomfield shopping centre in there. So now I'm going to go back up the street in the opposite direction and see what's up there. Lovely lavender. O'Connor Jewelers, wow. Okay, nice looking shop front. That is brilliant, brilliant. Very, very good. It's absolutely beautiful up here. There's a nice little breeze, sea breeze coming and it's just perfect for walking around i have to say like who who who's the artist that does that does all this stuff 
they're just brilliant. Look on the walls. Fabulous. A few nice little houses along here. Have to capture them. Wow, it's lovely, lovely. Behind the yellow door. I'll go back down onto the main street here and go on turn right and see what's down there. I'm enjoying this little stroll around. I keep, I keep, I keep saying little in all my videos, right? But uh, yeah, I'll just go down and just continue to walk down to the right here on the main street. Very good. There's nice flowers over here. Roses. Yep, I like that. Dead, isn't it? Support local everything. Very good. Jewelers, designer of gold, silver, platinum, diamonds, gems, pearls, and watches. I love the design of the, the brickwork across the road here. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And flowers just fantastic, aren't they? So this this is a little park here. Well it's it's not a huge big park, but it's a small park um in Dunleary here and it's just lovely. Look at them flowers. Wow, it's really, really pretty in here. Love to see people relaxing, relaxing out here on the green, the lawn in, 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 their, in the sunshine, shading under the trees and just chilling out. Just beautiful. Just looking here it's saying the cherry tree in memory of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, August 1945. Planted in 1982 by Dunleary LND or something like that. So maybe I'm wrong, but I think that this pillar here 
with all the names on it of people who died at sea or drowned out in the sea. Very, very warm here, I need some water. Not just beautiful, beautiful. I don't know the name of that plant there. It's lovely and it's full of bees. And this kind of, I don't know, lilac y, purpley plant here is also full of bees. This one. So the park here is just called the People's Park in Dunleary and it's very, very pretty. I love all the flowers they have in here and the trees, mature trees. And it's just lovely looking at all the people just chilling and relaxing in the sunshine. But these um, water fountains seem to be made in um, Glasgow. It's saying the Sun Foundry, Glasgow, from Scotland. They're all out there sailing in their yachts. What a lovely day for sailing. Just great. So this is an electric car here charging here. I think it's a Tesla, you know, the American one. Yeah, it's a Tesla, all right. Yeah, so the building across here is um, the public library in Dunleary, right? And <clears throat> when it was in the planning stages and, and such, there was a lot of ob objections to it, a lot of controversy, that it wasn't in, in keeping with the surroundings of, of Dunleary, right? But um, I think the majority of people that live here now have come round to, the, to actually liking it, right? And personally, I think, think it's a beautiful building. And the further you go away from it, actually, when you go out on, onto the, the pier there in Dunleary and look back, um, I think it looks really, really well, I have to say. So yeah, that's the new library in Dunleary. There's something very common about the flow of water, isn't there? And this is another, like there's a big hotel right behind me here. It's called um, the Royal Marine Hotel. I don't know if it's a four star or a five star, but it looks very, very fancy. And just out there, <clears throat> just another green area and people are just chilling and relaxing. So there seems to be lots of spots here in Dunleary for chilling. You know, whether it's outside cafes or on that main street that we're on there, people just chilling, sitting down, having coffee and tea and whatever. And then walking down along the harbour, uh, people just walking, sitting and chilling. And, you know, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a lovely area, all right. Dunleary.
So in here is the National Maritime Museum. Adults, uh, six euros for, for an adult to go in inside it. I'm not going to go inside though, I'm just going to look around just outside here a minute. Royal Irish Yacht Club recovered on the 16th of April 1984 by, it's kind of a bit kind of fading away here. Um, right, anyway, they found it in 1984. Cool, isn't it? There's obviously a gun. I know nothing about guns, but say that was a six pounder um, <clears throat> restored by CE Engineering in October 2016. Very good. So, if you want to visit a maritime museum in Ireland, this is the, the National Maritime Museum out here in Dunleary, beside uh, the new public library. It's just beautiful here, I have to say. And I'm just looking at um, the modern buildings, like there's apartment buildings just here to my left. As I said, there's the, the brand new modern public library. And then there's the, I don't know what they're called, Victorian type houses or whatever. Um, or Georgian type houses, houses maybe, right? Well, you wouldn't think that the modern would blend in well with the old and it actually does out here so yeah i i'm fairly impressed i have to say but uh yeah i'm gonna go for, for a cup of tea somewhere on the main street here right i'm just having a nice cup of tea and a lemon a lemon tart in the natural bakery here on the main street in um dunleary right and check it out if you're in Dunleary because um, it's a beautiful shop, I have to say, inside. Um, loads of variety of confectionery kind of stuff, cakes and little buns and, you know, like, uh, yeah, just looking at just different kind of, kinds of cakes and tarts and buns and stuff, right? So um, check it out on the main street here. Oh, this is just so relaxing, I have to say, just a beautiful day here. Um, in the sunshine and I got a big thing of tea here look at this so I'm really happy with that so I'm just going to chill here now and eat this you see it in there now let me see turn it this way see it <coughs> yummy 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 and it's going to end up in my tummy for sure well <coughs> that was probably the most relaxing cup of tea I had outdoors in months um, at the, nat the, the natural bakery on I don't know this is called the main street but it's, it's a shopping street here in Dunleary so check it out really really good that's after making me laugh there you know Kevin Kilday's brilliant bookshop a bit cheeky, but uh, maybe it is brilliant, but the name is certainly original for sure. It's just saying there on the wall, James um, Kiernan Art. Well, if you're watching this, uh, James, fair play to you, got great talent, I have to say. That mural is fantastic. <sighs> so Dun Dunleary Harbour has a, a big yacht club up here. As I said, there's loads and loads of yachts just out there, just outside the harbour here, just um, sailing in the bay dublin bay here so yeah it's a, it's a big big yacht club which is great if you're into sailing 
and you can afford to do it, yeah, why not? Here's uh, two lovely, oh, a few lovely boats here. I'd say there's some uh, price look for sale. Now, I would have no idea how much that would cost. Wow, look at that, Isn't that class. I like it. Prestige 420. There's a barcode there on the boat, it says scan this barcode for details of this boat, right? I've no idea how much that will cost. Will it be a million or less than a million? Quarter of a million? Half a million? Three quarters of a million? I don't know. All I can say, it's beautiful, it's beautiful and modern. There's another, there's a, here's a smaller one here for sale. Here's a Prestige, Prestige 460 for sale. Cool. And here is a yacht for sale. Sun Odyssey 389. mad I can't swim right I did take 10 lessons a good few a good few years ago right and um, I was able to float my back and do a little bit of treading maybe but overall really realistically I can't swim and it's when you come to place places like this and you see like a yacht club here with people you know going out on little small boats like loads of activities you can do in the sea you, when you go on holidays as well especially to say uh, the Canary Islands maybe, so, sunshine holidays, there's always loads of water activity and um, yeah so when you can't um, participate in it you feel kind of left out so uh, yeah it's, it's a thing that I must try and fulfil and I know it won't be that hard to um, you know to get back into the thing of swimming but anyway yeah so this is Dunleary Harbour, it's a big harbour like so you've got fishing boats here you have a yacht club there for smaller yachts and then the middle section here is all kind of uh, they look like bigger kind of fishing fish no yachts i call them yeah look uh, in here look so there's i don't know if the gold club i don't know if the gold club is picking that up but loads of yachts just in there and then on the far side then yeah there's another yacht club as i said there was a high speed um ferry that ran from here um to england uh, i think to holly head right uh Stena line that was a british um ferry company but they've gone and no one has uh taken over that spot they're all going into dublin port now so yeah so that's a map now of uh dunleary harbour so I am just down here now. So that's this where all the yachts I was showing you is it's just along here. So I'm gonna walk down along here on this pier and look back in here. I was down on this one. That's where you seen the fishing boats and the small little yachts were down here. And over here, that's see the, the ferry terminal. That's where the ferry terminal was from 1996 till 2014 I think but that's obsolete now I think and there's more kind of yachts all parked around here and there's another big long pier that's the east pier and that's the west pier so anyway I'll continue on down this little walkway this pier here the inner pier I think it's called could be wrong on that
pretty cool, isn't it? A, a life jacket sculpture. Unique. Great idea. Right, people, I think I'll just end uh, the video here off Dunleary. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as you can see, it's um, a big sailing um, place, right? Lots of sa a big sailing club here. Probably the biggest one in Ireland, maybe. I know there's one in, down in, in Cork as well, in Cove and Cork. But anyway, you can see it's a big, big sailing place. Uh, yachts and sailing. And... Um, what else? And it, you, you see, I showed you the main street there, the lovely main street there, all closed off there today for pedestrianised there for the people. Um, if you want to have a coffee or a, a meal outside on the main street, I thought that was very nice. And as you see, in lovely little parks and places to sit down and chill and relax. Actually, I it, it was it was actually very relaxing, I have to say. So that's it, my friends. That's a taste of Dunleary in South Dublin. Um, and I'll catch us all again in the next video. Don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere. Okay, take care, Bob.